Oh, was that Rio? <laughs> Hello, my darling. How are you? I'm Francis, and this is Stuart. I'm sorry. I introduced you. Don't worry. It's absolutely fine. And if you're new here, welcome to our channel. We are gay dads with a beautiful son called Rio, and we're here for it. And we're having a great time. <laughs> we're having we're a great literally time. absolutely loving being dads more than we even imagined possible. I feel like, you know, when we first thought about becoming parents, mm -hmm. did you ever imagine it would be? Well, I don't really this? think that far ahead, so I don't know what I was thinking about. I think I was just thinking about the next day. But it's honestly been the most joyful eight months of my life. I think I'm, I'm the happiest I've ever been. And it's obviously been a complete like life change, like having to look after someone. I was just thinking the other day actually, the reason why this boy is thriving is because of me and you, like because of the time and effort that we put into him for the last eight months. That's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. But do you know what the, the other thing that I've actually really loved is Rio's just started crawling and everyone's like, oh my God, you're gonna have like the worst time ever. <laughs> it's better because he can like entertain himself for a bit longer. <laughs> Although you have to have eyes everywhere because he particularly loves plugs. He loves- <laughs> Wires. Wires, puts them in his mouth. He loves the dog bowl. But I feel like every stage, as he's growing and growing and growing, I'm loving more and more and more. It's just so, it's just so amazing to see him grow like he is. And we were just talking the other day as well because if you didn't know already, we are planning to have another baby and that's kind of in the process and we've got so much more to share with you guys that I'm excited about, but when stuff is more concrete, we'll definitely speak more on here. I feel because of Rio being in our life and because I feel like confident being a dad, I feel like I'm creating this space, this energy space ready for this next baby and I know having two babies at the minute, I'm like, how am I gonna make that work? But it'll be one of those things that once you have that person, that soul, you'll just work it out and figure it out. I think going to all the scans and doing all the things a second time yeah. is gonna feel so much more connected because yeah. I feel like the first Way time more. we did it, it was like, yeah. oh, that's a little something. Like a blob, yeah. A little blob, you can see yeah. the little legs. It was exciting, it was really exciting. We yeah. were like so thrilled. But it's gonna it's gonna be completely different. Yeah. The connection that we're gonna have, knowing that this little thing, this little blob with its two little legs that are you know waggling around, yeah. that's actually going to be a person, another Rio. Yeah. Like that's, and it's funny because when when Rio first came, like that first few months, it's just so intense, and you you don't. Oh, I mean, I didn't personally. I don't know what you felt if you've got kids, but I didn't feel like this instant like love. I just felt like responsibility to look after him. And as time's gone on, like the love, just like, it just hurts how much I love him. And that's the same, I feel like ready for baby number two. I feel like I'll be able to love them sooner because I know they're gonna turn out to be what he is already now at eight months. I remember the first time I actually held him in my arms and I was like, in my head, I was like, because I was apprehensive when I very first start, you know, started the process. I'm definitely the driver, yeah. as you probably can tell by our... Actually, interestingly, by our content, I would say that you'll probably look like you're the driver in our relationship. I'm just the driver of the day-to-day, -day, like the day-to-day -day yeah. routine, that's all it is. Like, Stuart is the driver of the vision of the family and without Stuart's vision like we wouldn't be where we are now because he was the one that's like in 2020 March 2020 we're gonna have a baby let's do this now I would have probably just waited for something to begin which is not gonna happen naturally is it so uh, we've been trying for years <laughs> but yeah I feel like you are definitely the driving force in our relationship in that way but I'm just like I'm ready let's 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 bring the next one in <laughs> are you ready yeah I really am I'm really excited so in terms of where we're at, in terms of the process, which again is exciting as well, that she, what actually happened a few weekends ago is we had everything in place with the surrogate and we were really excited about her. We was yeah. like, this is, she's absolutely amazing. Yeah. But then one of our good friends who we've known for years and years and years, mm -hmm offered to be our surrogate. Just like completely out the blue as out well. Out the blue and it was like a Sam situation where yeah. it was a total curveball and sadly we had to let the other surrogate down which I yeah. felt so bad about. Yeah I honestly felt so bad about that but I just feel like we are just so lucky to be in a position where we have 
what, people offering us. Like, what friends do this for? I know. People. These like, people are incredible. just incredible. So she's going through tests right now. So yeah. we will definitely introduce you to her and do the same process as we did with Rio. Because yeah. one thing I really want to do is capture these moments. So when I'm like 80 in my death on my deathbed, maybe 90, 100, I can look back at these videos and be like, oh my god, look at. Us. What I also love is that like Rio can be like in his like mid twenties, thirties, and think, okay, what you know, what did we do on a random Wednesday? I know I'll go check out Stuart and Francis's like YouTube shorts, and there they are, just on a random Wednesday. That's what we did. Like I've got no reference for that from my childhood. We oh. actually have video content of Stuart. We've got it's in a box somewhere in his in his mom's sitting room. So I that she bought a video camera, and I was obsessed with the video camera, and she's got loads and loads of pictures yeah. of me as a baby. So it's my mission. Here to get that content and put it on a some it would digital be format. Brilliant. It would just be so brilliant to watch you. I know, I really want to, I really want to see that. But if you're wondering if you can hear like shushing in the background, that's because Rio has a shush app in his room for when he cries and stuff to shush and him is he up now. But I think it's to he's up. So shall I go get him? Yeah. Yeah he's pretty, he's ready to get up now. So we're going to get two and a half hours. Do you want to come with me? No. I will stay here. Okay, I'll go get him. Um the other thing I want to say is, uh, oh yeah, what we're doing today. So today we're going to see Francis's mum's sister, so the auntie, because they haven't met Rio yet. So they're going to go and see aunt's... Can you hear from him? So we're going to see them today. He's coming now. Rio, Rio, Rio. How much do we love Francis Dungarees, by the way? You still got the label in them, huh? Oh, right. oh yeah, happy. Just in case I want to turn the back. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Oh, Rio. Oh, I, mean, I was just. I was just figuring it all out. I was just explaining to him that we're going to see Old Man Farfa. So, Old Man Farfa is grandma and granddad in Norwegian and Dutch, because my mum is Dutch, my dad's Norwegian. And I was like, Oma is my mum. Nice. And Fafa is my dad. I have a mum and a dad, but you have a two dads. And I was like, all that matters is you've got two people that love you, because some people only have one person that love them. Some kids only have no people that love them. But all that matters is you've got two people that love you. Great story, Francis. And they're both dads. <laughs> Rio, you really do steal the show. <laughs> Look at him, he's like straight away just <laughs> looking at the camera. Do you think like he was he was up there waiting for us and he was like, oh God, I love the camera. I'll do it. I'll do this one. <laughs> he was up there in the corner of his bed and he literally opened the door and like in the morning as well, he just smiles like straight away when he sees you. It's the best, it's the best validation that you're, <laughs> you're doing something right. <laughs> he is just adorable. Do you want to say anything? Slap your, slap your thigh like you do in Panto. <laughs> It's so actually kind of a full circle moment really because when we first started like vlogging our YouTube our journey on YouTube, we sat down here in the sitting room talking about this person we were gonna meet. And now we now he's here and now he is here. Look at him. Pretty amazing. So yeah, as I said, we're going to see Francis' mum. Yeah. Um, oh ma. Are we doing anything else today? We could go see my brother. I just, we could, I think maybe, depending on the time, because I think we give him lunch now, and then we just bring him a milk and his sleep thing, right, you're just in case. Francis is obsessed with him. all kinds of all things routine. So basically, my thought is, it's best to drive with Rio when he should be sleeping, because he's less bothered. So we'll bring his sleep stuff, just in case he can start the night in the, in the car. Okay, so we're going to see your brother. It's such a nice day, I want to get out. Let's go. Oh, we can go then, let's go straight away. Okay, let's do it. No. Let's go. Let's go and get him dressed. Okay, yeah. see you in a bit. To do, because we've had this. Oh, this. Well, that did not go to plan. Look at Francis in his um, <laughs> pants. Oh. You know why I'm wearing my pants? Because I'm so hot. No, because I can't be trusted not to get him dirty. It's so crowded. <laughs> Let me show you Rio, who's having lunch right now. Oh, baby Rio. 
Was lunch good? <coughs> Was lunch good? So yeah, what I've learned about putting children's things in is you just can't do anything in a rush. I like to not have to read instructions and just put it up. And that just does not happen with children's prams, car seats, anything. Um, I think also that we are trying, we were trying to put a, the car seat in and Rio is too small for it. So we're gonna go back to the old car seat for now and keep him in that. And then when he gets a little bit bigger, I think that car seat will be absolutely perfect. But right now, it's a hot day. I was sweating, I was getting stressed and no one needs a stressed Stuart Armfield ever because it's just not a vibe. So we're gonna go in my car instead of going in Francis's car. It's such a nice day today though. Oh, he's so cute. Playing with his yogurt. I might go back over there and... Oh. Got the glue just found in. How a guy can really use her brain. How are you, Rio? I feel the air card kicking in. My parents decided to move to London a year and a half ago. Close to my other brothers and not me. How rude. How rude you? They like, they moved in between both of them so they can be present. It would be handy if they lived a bit closer. You can tell who their favourites are. <laughs> it's okay, I'm the most handsome. You are, you definitely <laughs> won the handsome players. I really did, didn't I? I know, there's four other brothers got no chance. <laughs> We're almost there. So we've just been spending the afternoon with my mum and I always feel a bit guilty when we're with family or friends to like immediately put a camera in their face. So I, I held off. I didn't. <laughs> what do you mean? So I didn't. You didn't so I didn't put a camera in their face. So I held off. She is pretty fabulous. She made Stuart the most incredible top. Oh my god, I can't. I can't wait to show you all. It's so, it's so good. Stuart commissioned her to like make this like designer top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many bells can you have in your hand? Are you tired? Basically, I had a coffee and I shouldn't have had it because it basically, I had a large as well and it sent me like... This is my Tante Sandra. Hello. Oh, hi mum. Rio's learned to play with the bells. Yeah, we should show them Rio playing with the bells. Yeah. You want to discover the world. Okay. Broken bell. Give it to Oma. And then some. Yeah. Depends on the. Depends on the. How is it? How, when did you know I was gay? <laughs> when you were two or three years old. Why? Mm. How? I don't know, I had a feeling, the way you were, different. Mm. And when you were little, you couldn't, you couldn't look, you couldn't walk normally. <laughs> you would always pirouette. <laughs> Three Jerome and... No, but it, was I had a it was a feeling, a smaller yeah. feeling. Yes! <laughs> yes, I had a good feeling. I don't Who know. is the most handsome out of your horses? Oh, that's the meanest question. <laughs> um, <laughs> What would you say? She's very I won't answer that one. <laughs> Just Rio? Rio? Oh, 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 oh. Rio! Do you want your milk? No. No hands. So they know. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So he is asleep. 
and I'm going to just take you into our office. What France's mum made. I mean, it's just absolutely incredible. I just love it. Let's just show them the detail. But the bag. So there's basically this reel on Instagram that I saw. I'm going to post. Wait, wait a second. Let me just show them the the stitching. Twelve. Twelve me, twelve me, twelve. So I spoke to Francis' mum the other day and I was like, I just love this jumper, this guy. Should I show you the reel that I've made? Yeah. This guy has got this this jumper. I went onto Google, it was like five hundred pounds and it was out of stock. So I spoke to Francis' mum and I was like, would you please make me this crochet jumper? And literally a couple of weeks later, here I am with a crochet jumper. But not just a crochet jumper, also a crochet bag to match. She is incredible, does that? Does that blow your mind? Like she was, your, your mum was born for a gay son. Whilst we wait for that reel, what I want to just say is that I feel like when I'm growing up with my mum, you know, because it's your mum, I was always a bit embarrassed of her kookiness, like her making her own clothes. I was like, oh, that's just so not cool. And I just feel like now I actually get to realise how amazing she it's is. She's incredible. She's incredible. And she's so creative. So creative. She's and made I'm... this without even a pattern or anything. And I just used to feel like she was just like, just so kooky and so bizarre. Absolutely incredible. I love this jumper. So we... But I can't <laughs> 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 so we're absolutely exhausted so we're gonna to go to bed now so thank you so much for following along for this this youtube we honestly appreciate all the people that got to the end well done <laughs> you're incredible we appreciate you loads night love you. <sighs> night love you love you so much love you love you just tell them how much you love you so great Closely, you might see them through the lens. Hello? <laughs> you fake tan? Yeah, can you smell it? When did you fake tan? It's a bit of Molly May. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. We'll see you next week.